What is going on everybody? My name is Pete, but you probably already knew that, but in case you didn't, you guys are watching the one and only Paid to Drive, and of course, Paid to Drive Vlogs coming at you with another new video. Hope you're having a great one out there. And uh, ladies and gentlemen, if you drive for apps like Grubhub, DoorDash, Uber Eats, or any of the others, you, my friends, should definitely be subscribed to this channel with all notifications turned on for free. Remember, it's free. So subscribe today, turn on the notifications. You're always notified whenever I post something new. And of course, if you wouldn't mind, hit that like button down below. Just lets YouTube know I'm doing a good job. I'll give you a second to do that. And let's jump into the email. Triple Lindy, Thornton Mellon style. All right, let's do this right now so this comes from dasher d remember dasher d so this is i don't know what this is all about okay the subject is doordash escalation team wants to see my driver's license it's a little strange because when you sign up for these apps they already see all that stuff you can't you literally can't sign up for the app without your driver's license and insurance, proof of insurance. And I believe the registration too, if I'm not mistaken, right? Isn't it all three? So she says, hi, Pete. I know you're busy and I pray you're well. And same to you. Uh, I have a question for you. I got this email from DoorDash's escalation team because my app started pausing again for really no reason. I know acceptance rate doesn't matter, but I have mine up to 41%. And as she said, it doesn't matter. So this would not be the reason why. I'm trying to find out if you get better offers with a higher acceptance rating. I still won't take no tip offers or Burger King orders, but still trying to get it higher. I didn't decline more than like five or less orders today because DoorDash sent pretty good offers. I did very well today and my friends and I made just over $100 with DoorDash and Instacart combined. I declined an offer for $4.00. I don't like to take orders under $5 minimum. Nothing wrong with that. Most people most people won't even take orders under $10. So there you go. Uh, I declined the order in the I declined the order in the app, but it kept pausing me repeatedly for over an hour. I messaged DoorDash two or three times telling them the problems I was having, so they said they would escalate it again, just like they said. Then they sent me this email asking for my ID to verify myself, and I have never had them asking for my ID before. Do you think? Do they think I'm committing fraud or something suspicious on my account? I have never heard of this. Uh, you've never heard of this in the and I've never heard of this in nearly the three years that I've worked with DoorDash, and they've never asked me for ideas. And when I first signed up, uh, have you heard of this, or has anybody else heard of this? You're welcome to share. Uh, I know this is their email address, but at the same time, I'm skeptical uh, about it. And then they're asking me for my license. If that just doesn't make any sense, they've never asked me for it. I'm very confused. Have you ever heard of this? Is this normal? I'm not so sure about, uh, should I give them my driver's license license or is that even safe? Uh, they should have this on file, right? Did I do something wrong? Please let me know your thoughts. Thanks, Pete. You're awesome. Your friend D. So... Yeah, and then she shows the email, and, and it looks it looks legitimate. It really does. You know, always remember, guys, check who the sender's from. If it's, if it's at DoorDash.com, nine times out of ten, it's legitimate. Yes, there are people who can spoof email addresses, but, I mean, other than your address, you know, I mean, I don't really know what a scammer would want your driver's license for uh, and your birthday, you know. I don't know. Um... I do find it very, very strange that they're asking for your driver's license because in my opinion, that is not normal. Here is my guess based on the information and I know you for a little while. Here's what I'm thinking. What I'm thinking is possibly because you said, for those of you who don't know, D is disabled, okay? She has a very hard time doing uh, dashes. Uh, and working, but she makes the best of it. And she has two friends that assist her on her deliveries. I don't know if it's every time, but she does mention that she was with, uh, you know, her, her two friends and she has made up the names, uh, Steve and Sarah. Those are not their real names. Here's what I'm thinking because they're asking for your ID. I think possibly 
a customer may have contacted DoorDash about the fact that you drove up with three people in your car. And DoorDash may think that you are sharing your account with other, dri with other drivers who maybe were deactivated or something like that. So they want to verify your identity to make sure that you are the person who delivered the food. So that is the only thing from this that I can possibly think of. If I was on DoorDash's end or something, that's the only reason why I would ask you for an ID because if somebody called and complained and said, oh, I don't know, uh, this person, uh, it didn't match the person's, uh, you know, it didn't match the person's name or whatever, the, you know, uh, it, or, or whatever it is. It's just like it said a woman's name, but a man delivered it or something. You know what I mean? So again, I'm not trying to cause issues here, but that it seems like that could be the only reason why. So make sure it looks legitimate and then, you know, maybe get in contact with someone, but that could be the only reason why. So I would say, yeah, give them the ID. You know, what's the worst that can happen if it's DoorDash? They're just verifying it's you. So that's my thoughts. Everybody in the chat or the comments, why do you think DoorDash, their escalation team is asking for her ID? I don't know. That, that one's beyond me. I've never seen this one before. So D, I hope you get that worked out because I know you're a really nice person and you deserve nothing but the best. So guys, if you ever want to send me anything, email me at paytodrivestories at gmail.com, just like D did. Uh, but if you would like a quicker response, you can always message me through Patreon at patreon.com slash paid to drive. Um, and anyone who signs up on there, uh, I will give you guys shout outs in all my new videos. I'm going to do that right now. So when you hear your name called, say, hey, Pete, I heard my name. Link is in the description or the pin top comment if you want to sign up. Of course, the very generous $100 ultimate driver, Ari Rosenbaum. Thank you so much, Ari. And of course, our other generous patrons like Samantha Michaels, Brian Pomeroy, Brian Medina, Heidi Barnes, Ivan Jerome Gilroy, Joe Valerio, Angel, uh, Angela Count McCarty, Kurt Paul, Lee Peacock, Tulsa Todd, William Boudreau, Laura Love, Agus, Tom Perry, Alan G. Van Horn, uh, Drew Hanor, Lawrence Brown, Fernando Carranza, Frank Haviland, Fresh One, Jason Casta, Justin Case, Lulu Laura, Natalie Mosley, Sarah Keston, Scott Freisner, Sherry Cassidy, Stephen Neely, Joyce Hine, Brian Richardson, Kenny Bess, Ginny Thomas, uh, John Bonacci, Matt Epperson, Nick G, Stacey Miller, Terrence Pacheco, and of course, Valerie Brown. So huge shout outs to all of them. Really, really appreciate all of you. Sign up down below. And of course, everybody, please also sign up on the free app for your smartphone called Get Upside. It allows you to save money every time you're at the gas pump. There's a link at the bottom of all my descriptions, all the way at the bottom. Click that, download it to your uh, smartphone. Any phone will work. Go to your gas station, pump your gas, print out your receipt, take a picture of your receipt with the Get Upside gas app. And within 48 hours or so, you'll get anywhere from 15 cents to 45 cents a gallon back, which is pretty fantastic. And if a friend or family member signs up using your code, you'll get paid every time they pump gas. It's called Get Upside. Links in the description down below. Make sure to download it. And of course, if you want one of these awesome paid to drive police shirts, you can get one over at paidtodrivestore.com. Everything is on sale every day. We have tons of different t-shirt designs, uh, colors, sizes. Get all your t-shirts, hoodies, and goodies at paidtodrivestore.com. Links in the description or in the pin top comment. So if you guys made it to the end of the video, very grateful for all of you. Leave a comment right now saying end 700, E-N-D 700. Just lets me know you made it to the end. Don't forget to hit that free red subscribe button down below. Turn on all notifications so you're always notified when I post something new. And of course, hit that like button. It just lets YouTube know I'm doing a good job. So thank you for that. And until next time, get that money, get that honey, keep hustling and keep bustling. And we'll see you next time right here on Paid to Drive and Paid to Drive Vlogs. And as always, drive safe, be well, and we'll see you on the next one. Take care.